Hello and welcome to Kevin 3. Today we will be talking about molecules and their shapes, specifically chlorine trifluoride. Along with us, we have a special guest, Mr. Vio. Thank you for having me, Mr. Khan. My pleasure. It's an honor for me to be here. Let's start off with drawing chlorine trifluoride. So chlorine is a Lewis structure has seven electrons in the valence shell. Chlorine is a Cl, as we all know that. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Little known fact, seven's my lucky number. Whew, okay, seven days in a week. <laughs> Next we have fluorine. Fluorine also has seven valence electrons in the outer shell. I'll mark it with X's so you know we don't get confused. Not to mention X's as in a previous relationship. But let's go now. F, C, L, we need three of these guys. One, two, three. Twice the package. So let's rearrange such that we can fit in three fluorines. How about that? Okay, let's move this guy. This guy, and this guy. We move the chlorines over here. These are two lone pairs. They look like bunny ears. <laughs> then we can add, see, it's still seven. Rules are still kept. These are the bonding fluorines. Now, young man, do you think you can guess the right model? That was informative and exciting view. I think this looks like a possible model for chlorines. <laughs> Oh, this one perhaps. Could this one be the one? Oh, Gibran, there's still a lot for you to learn. <laughs> when you oh no, I've met a bunch of students in my career who've made the exact same mistake. Sevens, eights, all in the IB, and they've still made the same mistake. This one, the lone pair, lone pair have the greatest repulsion, but in this case, it's a 90 degree angle. Angle, whereas the Bonded pairs have a 120 degree angle. So, understandable, you might have thought this is 180, you know, numbers. But the real answer is this one, as I have drawn here. Oh, indeed. The T shape. Say it with me, T shape. The T shape. That's right, T shape. The T shape molecule has a greater, almost greater than 120 degree repulsion between the two lone pairs. And approximately a 90 degree repulsion between the bonded pairs. This is the exact molecule that CLF3 represents. You have opened my mind, Leo. This is what we like to do here at Chemin 3. Catch you next episode. <laughs>